I'm Zubeda Unais. I'm a professor of mechanical engineering here at Penn State, and I'm director of LIMC2, the Living Materials Center, which is a research collaboration with the Living Materials Center at University of Freiburg in Germany. Hi, my name is Juan Pablo Chiverdan. I am an assistant professor in architectural engineering, and I'm a co-PI for the iPRISM program. And the idea of iPRISM came to us because of our role within LIMC2 and the fact that we already had a strong research partnership with uh, a research center at Freiburg. This program really did give me the opportunity to explore international academia. I was working with um, professors, grad students, and PhD students from all over the world. The landscape of engineers in the U.S. doesn't match the demographics of the country. How do we get more engineers into the U.S. workforce? And one of the ways to do that is to draw them from communities that we don't necessarily draw them from. So when you look at this iPRISM grant, um, you can see that uh, the, the demographics that are present in this grant are representative of that group of people. Just being in an international university really helps you gain intercultural research skills. Being a part of a global community expands your knowledge base, it expands your cultural awareness, and if you're looking for a job, those type of experiences will help you both domestically and internationally. Throughout my experience in Freiburg, I was able to interact uh, with a global community of researchers there from the faculty to the PhD students. Uh, it was a very multicultural background that I was able to interact with um, and gain valuable re uh, research experience. This uh, National Science Foundation program, iPRISM, is um, a research abroad program, and that's the uniqueness of it. This immersive experience in another culture is anchored and grounded in research. One of the main things that we wanted to do with this program is really to develop these strong connections between Penn State, uh, the LIMC2 Center, and the LIVMATCH Center at the University of Freiburg. One of the ways that we thought about doing that is to leverage our own expertise on adaptive architecture and build those relationships in research. The iPRISM project that I specifically focused on was titled Load Adaptive Green Composites and I got to see the interdisciplinary side of that, so how we can look at nature and take inspiration from it and apply that to engineering focuses. What we also wanted to do is really afford this opportunity to undergraduate students, honestly students that haven't necessarily had the opportunity to travel. When I go to Freiburg, there's only the research in my head. There's no other things in the rough of me. One of the main things that motivated me to apply was that it was a funded opportunity. Um, outside of the funding, it would be very hard for me to experience something similar to this. And so what we're offering them is a research internship experience where um, they get paid and they're doing it in, in a really different environment than what they're used to. We're looking for fresh perspectives, passion and motivation for these grand challenges.